hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods in pal world now there aren't a lot of mods but there are some pretty good ones currently available one for example is if you want to play as the character misty or if you want to remove the hud to get some awesome screenshots in this video i'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how to get this done so the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the unreal engine that is going to support the game and prevent it from crashing when you install mods and that is the unreal engine for ssre this web page is linked in the description of the video so you'll simply click on it and it will lead you to this web page you're going to scroll down to the bottom where you see the x input version 2.5.2 you're going to click on that zip and it's going to automatically download once you've found the download, you're going to extract the contents of the zip file. I'm going to be using 7-zip, so I'm going to right-click on it, go to Show More Options, go to 7-zip, and then Extract To, and it's going to create a folder with everything from the zip file. The next thing that we need to do is to locate the main game directory for PAL Worlds. I'm using the one on Steam, so I'm going to right-click, go down to Manage, and Browse Local Files. Now, this is the main game directory where you see the PAL World EXE. On the right side, I have the PAL Worlds main game directory in Steam. And on the left side, I have the uh, files that I just downloaded from GitHub. So what you're going to do is go into PAL, then go to binary, Win64, and then you're going to copy everything here into this folder. There are two different types of mods that you can install. One uses this format where you just copy the mods inside of this folder, but there's another way which doesn't require this folder. So we're going to go back to where you see content. So go back into pals, then content, then go to packs. And here we're going to create a folder. So we're going to call it new and we're going to call it mods, all common letters. And this is where we're going to be installing dot pack files. So for example, if you have a mod that is a dot pack file, simply copy it here instead of in the binary and the mod will be installed. One thing that I forgot to mention was that you need to change something in the Unreal Engine 4 SS settings.ini so it doesn't crash the game. So you're going to double click on it and you're going to open it up. So we're looking for this one right here, which is be use objects array check. You're going to change it from true to false. Then you're going to go ahead and save and close. So now that we've set up everything necessary, we're now going to download some mods from the internet. You can simply go to Google and type in PAL World mods and you have options, which is Curse Forge or Nexus mods. I like Nexus mods, so I'm going to use this one. Once you're on Nexus mod, you're going to find the mod that you want to use. For example, toggle HUD mode. So it pretty much turns off and on the HUD, the HUD mode by just clicking a button. So this is after without the HUD and this is with the HUD. So I want this mod to be installed. So simply go on it and then go down to file. Then go to manual download. You have to log in to Nexus mod to actually download the mods. So you have to create an account. It's free, so you don't have to worry. So you're going to click on slow downloads and it's going to count down and then start auto downloading. I'm going to also search for some other mods to install. So I'll see you when I'm finished with that. So now that I have all of my mods downloaded, you can go ahead and delete the X input. So these are all the mods that I'm going to be installing into PAL world. The first thing that we need to do is to extract the contents from the zip file. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, go to show more, go to zip, 7-zip and go to extract two. And it's going to create folders for each of them. Now I'm going to arrange this properly so you guys can see what I'm doing. So for the first mod that we're going to be installing is the Misty mod. If we go into it, you can see that this is a .pack file. So it's going to be installed into PAL, content, packs, and then mods. So simply grab it and put it there and Misty mod is installed. The other aren't like Misty. So I'm going to go back into the binary, Win64, and the mods. So these are some other mods that have been installed. So simply put, you're going to go inside here and then you're going to just copy this folder here. You're just going to go into them. So remove flying stamina. You go into here. You can see that it's a script. We're then going to copy this into this folder. We're going to do it for the toggle HUD. We're going to copy it into the folder, the mods folder. And for the final one, the durability, we're going to copy it into the mods folder. Now that we've installed our mods, we can go ahead and launch the game. All right, so we're going to be selecting our character. As you can see, we have Misty, the mod that is working so far. This is the pack file that we installed. We can go ahead and start the game. So now that we're inside the game, you can see that I'm playing as Misty, which is pretty cool. If I press F9, it should remove the HUD. 
which makes the game look really good in my opinion. So another mod that I installed was to remove the weight limit or increase the weight limit. Right now we have 2,500, so we can pretty much carry a good amount of stuff. Not a ridiculous amount, but I had about 800 when I just started. But as you can see, I have 2,500.